help them, guide them towards the fleet, throw them the link of the fleet, invite them, do whatever you want, um, and um, then try and, oh yeah, also, as announced, this is going to be a drunken fleet, alcohol is super loud, it is uh, totally recommended, and um, if this is going to be great or bad, if we're going to die in a fire, we're going to kill all the things, the most important thing tonight is that we're going to have a lot of fun, so have fun, that's an order. Uh, unduck and duck and duck. Will this be covered by SRP? <laughs> yes. Are we going to Nullsec? Yeah. What? We'll be going to Real Nullsecs. Quick. Real quick, Krause, would you prefer T1 Fast Tackle or, or a Griffin? Mm. How many tackles do we have? That's exactly the question I was about to ask. Uh, below this line, can I have... Uh, Tackle ships. Anyone flying tackle of some sort, please get yourselves to the Austin Gilead, please. Do I have a Desto? No. Warp drive active. That's pretty good. Three tackle ships? I can live with that. I mean, carries. Doing a carries? Uh, yep. I, is that insta lucky? That's not insta lucky. Um, that's fine. That looks really good. Super solid. Yeah, cool. And it's also you are nice. Good choice, Bill. That's a really good choice. Um, what? Did um, you actually wear heavy tackle, yeah. Yeah. Um, what scanvas is like insta locky to you? Twenty eight hundred. In the carries, on, if you put on three, uh, hold on. In the carries, if you put on three receivers, you get uh twenty two hundred with like basic skills. But if you overheat the uh, thing, you should be very damn near. But we don't need an Inslucker. I, I, I like this carries a lot. We don't need an Inslucker for this field at all. Um, three tackle, I'm happy with that. Uh, Aria, what are you flying? The thing you linked Good. me. Good. Um, who was asking about the Griffin? Me, Joe. Joe, are you an Elder clone? Uh, no. But I can't fly an Interceptor, unfortunately, yet. What's the best thing you think you can fly? Oh, jeez. Um, well, right now I'm pretty skilled into Keldari frigates and covered ops, so... <laughs> Do you fly to two Keldari frigates? Just cover ops. Just buzzer. Hmm. can also bring in a Stero. That's too pricey. And it doesn't really fill out any role. Do, um... Do the Griffin, yeah. For sure. Cool. Uh, there's and, only uh, seven of us on gate. So yeah. Leaving. Fleet, um, if you are not yet undocked, please go ahead and undock and get to the Austin Gale gate in Stagman. If you're not here for some reason, um, right now tell me where you are in fleet chat, please. Sorry, which gate? Austin Gale. Austin Gale. Right, orbiting OST. So this is one of the fleets, and I know that a lot of you had some questions because Rido did say something about um, orbiting gates and not orbiting gates, unlike another fleet earlier. And a lot of questions were raised because in every single NOP fleet we run, we always teach people to orbit gate at 500 whenever we're holding. I'm going to quickly explain why this is. When in frigates, these are small ships. When you orbit at 500, what you effectively gain is a transversal speed. If you don't know what this means, it's uh, basically a means of defense. Now, what this also does is that it lowers your own ability to hit things because the uh, tracking of your guns will be challenged by your own speed as well as the enemy's speed. The tracking that we have on our guns, um, especially when we are spike loaded, is not very good. So in Cormorants, unless you are specifically told to, please do not orbit the gate, but please sit still on them. And also, um, when we're sitting on gates, try to have uh, Caldari and uh, Navy antimatter loaded instead of Spike. Um, and uh, I shall be calling when to swap ammo types. So generally have uh, Caldari Navy antimatter loaded and be ready to swap uh, to Spike whenever you need to. Also, when we will be anchoring, and this is one thing we will be doing, we will be anchoring on Rashagala. I'm your FC. I will W up and please. 
Um, you can add me to your watch list. Uh, you can also add the three tackle pilots we have to your watch list. That is uh, Aria, Bill, and Jax. I'm going to link. Um, um, one quick question. Go ahead. Should the like should we by default try to tackle every flashy thing that comes through any gate we are holding on? That's an amazing question. I love it. And the answer is yes. Um. Okay. Yes. Anyone who is not a cormorant can feel free to orbit as they like. The orbiting, uh, in this case, we're only not doing it because. Uh, we want to actually hit things. Hitting things kills them faster than not hitting them. All right, let's just go. Let's just take a swing through Black Rice. See what's happening. What is that? Oh, burst Come on, burst. stuff. Oh yeah. Also, we have Dominion with us tonight. He is our uh, command destroyer. This is really important. Uh, add Dominion uh, to your watch list, guys. Can you X up? Uh, yeah. Add him to your watch list. He's going to be more important than anyone now of late. Uh, in many combat circumstances. Um, I will be asking uh, the Comrade pilots. This only actually counts the Comrade pilots. You will all be um, be asked to anchor at some point. You will be anchoring on one of two targets. Either you will be anchoring on Rasha Gala, and I will be calling whether or not you, took, you put your prop mod on, or you will be, or, or you will be orbiting uh, or keeping range at the minion uh, for Vanio. Provania will um, be jumping us uh, to our optimals uh, in our comrades, allowing us to be safe of enemy fleets and uh, shooting them and killing them with fire, while providing us with uh, the beautiful links that you're seeing, uh, which will increase the uh, tackle speed and sense of strength and everything. It'll, it'll, do, it'll do all the good things. Um, so... Uh, Bill, actually, go ahead. Jack, you're now scout. Congratulations. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, the way you set your drones to assist, if you have any, you pull them out in space. You can try to do this now, just so you know how it feels. Put them out in space. You see them in your overview. You right click uh, drones in space. And there should be a drop down menu saying assist. If you have me on your watch list, you can go directly to the watch list and pick my name from there. Otherwise, you can pick me from the list of A to C names. That means that every time that I activate an offensive module on a target, your drones will follow my lead. It's very effective if you want to get on targets every time I, I like, uh, I call them. Shame I can't, set, I can't set them right now and just like have them set for all times. Yeah, I know, right? That would also be extremely overpowered. We're not looking for anything else together. I just want to know if it's clear. Do we have a destination yet? Oh yeah, I forgot to link it. Let's start by going to Akitagi. Let's just take a quick swing around uh, Black Rice. Is anyone flying, shi flying shiny pots, guys? Should be 10 gems. Yeah, my pod's uh, pricey, but don't worry about it. All right. It's just to consider if I want to like go to Nalsek. I don't think I will, but yeah, I ain't afeard. Of course you're not. I love Nalsek. Yeah, don't we all? Recently, man, I've been led to believe that Nalsek is safer than Nalsek. Yeah, I think so. Recently. What you got, Jax? I'm sorry, I was just jumping there. Okay. I was waiting for the destination, I didn't... That's okay. Uh, is anyone currently not on the Austin Gale gate? Actually, I can just see in fleet composition. Why don't I use this? I'm totally using this more often. There's okay, only I can 14 see... people here. Yeah, it's going to show the next time. Oh yeah, we hear you. That sucks. Have you been saying intelligent and inspiring things?
yeah, this is very important, guys. Um, the minion, if you don't know how command destroy jumps work, just oh, no, I do. Just please, I know, I know how you, I know that you know, but I don't. If you don't know how they work, what's effectively going to happen is that the minion will activate a module on his ship that will start spooling up. After five or six seconds, depending on his skills, it will um, it will activate. Now, once he has activated it, it can't cast, can cancel. So, once he's activated, he's committed to actually using the module. So, five seconds after he's used the module, it will jump him and all ships uh, within six thousand meter range uh, radius of him, a uh, hundred kilometers in the direction that his ship is facing. The reason this is very good for particularly our fleet is that our optimal range with spike loaded and our uh, targeting range scripts loaded in our sensor boosters, we should be uh, able to target up to 106 kilometers and we should be able to shoot at optimal at 98 kilometers. Our fall off starts at 105 kilometers, which means that if we get 100 kilometers away from our target, we are effectively doing absolutely the best that we can do in our ships. Um, should the tackles try to avoid these jumps? Yes, good question. They, they should definitely avoid these jumps. Tackle does not want to be with the fleet at any time. So this is, gonna be a little bit, are too, right? this is going to be a little tricky. Anyone who is not a comrant should never, never be with the comrants, really. Uh, the tackle should be, obviously, on the enemy. The E-War should be between the enemy and your friendly comrades. This is a general rule. And I realize that this is going to be tricky for everybody, but consider this an exercise in doing some, some, some tiny advanced piloting. Once you get the hang of it, this is going to become quite easy, but it's going to be tricky to start. Should you not have like E-War anchors then or something like that? We have an E-War pilot at the moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> is, is it me or is there are other people? I suppose technically the carries also counts for you or so uh Arya you can uh what's the bill? Uh, yep. my build? Bill and Geo? Yeah, I'm you are, I'm a griffin. Oh yeah, you have we have three, okay. Um I thought it was special. Okay. My bill closed, disconnected. I'll be right back. Okay. Bill, you uh, are don't shoot Dominion guys. You're in high sec, you will die. Sec. Yeah. Scout in OSD, there's eight in local, nothing in the plexus, there's a gnosis on a sino. That's it. Alright. Ash, I'm gonna promote you to uh, squad commander for two so you can just track uh, Dominion. And I'm gonna promote myself to wing commander and. Uh... Do you have a second command, guys? Next, I want to have a volunteer this time. I don't want to just point at people. Anyone can do. I'll do it, man. Adrian. You got it. Adrian's your second in command. Please add it to watch list. If I go down, let's say when I go down, Adrian's the one who went by anchoring on uh, when in combat. And also the guy you will be listening to when in combat. Fleet, jump, jump, jump. Did our, like, burst thingy? Oh, never mind. Yeah, he disconnected. He'll be back. Uh, Who was that again? <laughs> a line, a line only. A line, a line to a ghost. A line, a line to a ghost. Okay, clear. For all comrades, uh, make sure that you oh. have your targeting range scripts loaded. I've got a 30 seconds till I can jump. Oh. Actually, I regret that. Let's have our scan with solution scripts loaded, along with Caldera Navy antimatter. Now, when we swap to spike ammunition, it's very important that you also swap your scripts in your sense boosters to range scripts. If you don't do this, the range doesn't matter. So every time we swap ammunition, you also swap scripts. Caldera Navy antimatter goes with scan resolution. Spike goes with targeting range. Is that understood? Drive. I forgot about the one minute thing. Yeah, it's silly. Take the warp if you didn't get the warp, or yourself still it goes.
Let's go to goes, six in local. Uh, there's an H on Novit. Yeah, we, we go for smalls. Yeah. And bigger. There's another H on small. There's a I... Ragnarok Falcon H on Karen in the system. That was a push fire. Possible. Yeah, six in local. Cool. Ooh, I lemminged. Cool. Free advance. Free advance. Advancing is, for those of you who don't know, the same. When I say advance, it means exactly the same as if I were to say jump, 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 and warp, warp, warp. So advance means jump the gate, warp your our gate. It just saves me from saying a lot of words. Also, cheers, everybody. Happy Friday. Ooh. What? Yeah. Oh, well, like yeah. Saturday morning or where the hell the hell it is. It's still Friday. It's still Friday. It's, it's Friday Saturday. Until you sleep, right? It's Saturday exactly. four o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Precisely. Also, throughout this fleet, if this goes for anyone, anyone who like has any bodies like that want to join, can they got flash on gate. Shoot it. Okay, see where he went. Ah, damn it. Yeah, he can very. There's 125 in local. I have a blackbird sitting on a gate, on the end gate. I just want to say, Jax, that in the case you did not see it, um, anytime a flashy Akari comes into like us, we want to know so we can blab him. Will do. But uh, where was around. the blackbird? Blackbird is 5,000 kilometers off the gate. The uh, the ghost gate? Correct. Please jump, jump, jump. Hold cloak. 125 in local. The Blackbird is Chaos. Great. Maybe we'll get an escalation. Oh, 5,000 kilometers. Okay, I see. Oh, uh, never mind. Um, yeah. Anything else? No. Please, a line ferry. A line ferry. A line ferry. I know that there are other uh, unfriendly fleets out here. This is a very good anti fleet doctrine. Because um, it can survive most things and, like, effectively pick off things. So we're going to see if we can find some other fleets and have some actual fleet engagement here. In the meanwhile, we'll be like picking off stupid cruisers and battleships and all that jazz. Please take this warp. I got separated. I'm sorry. That's okay. We're currently in Vey, going to the ferry gate. Safety should be red if you're a real pirate. If you don't know what you're doing, your safety should be set to yellow. Red to pod or what? What? Why would you put it to red? So you can pot people that are not flashy? It's a pretty color. Hold red is ferry. the best way to go. Scout yeah. ferry. I own ferry. Fleet advance. Fleet advance. Nice. How did that happen? Oh, incursions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just realized I still have my home system set to Berta. That's gonna suck, <laughs> eventually. I can't even go on a high sec anymore. I don't yeah. know where my home station set. If you click, I just learned this. If you click your character sheet, it's the system, like, in the upper left, upper right corner. That's where it is yeah. now. Amar. Amar is pretty good. See, that's pretty, mine should be like a Korea, but I don't know. Hold an MOC. Scout an MOC. There's two in local. Plexus are empty. Is it a curse? I want to kill a curse. I'm not getting a scan. No general scan. So, there's a fine line, guys, that I'm going to be like really trying to judge in this fleet. And it is when whether we are going to be fighting at medium range or whether we're going to be fighting at long range. When we're fighting with medium range, we're going to have double the DPS that we usually do. When we're fighting at long range, that halves, but we are pretty much invincible. However, when we're fighting at long range, we're also exposing our tackle a lot more than we want to. So I'm going to try to make some uh, clever decisions. I may not always make the right decisions, but in this particular doctrine especially, it is very important that you follow my orders regarding what the hell we are doing. 
So when I ask you to swap ammo types, it's important that it is important that you actually do so. And the same thing with your, your range scripts. So I'm going to repeat this once more because it is important. Scout in uh, Brick Break, Scout MOC, I'm sitting on the REN gate and Onyx is yellow boxing me. Flashy Onyx, yellow boxing me. He jump, jump, warped. jump. He's warped off, he's warped. That's great. Jump, jump, jump. He warped to the Freebie gate? Yeah, we're not going to uh, an Onyx. He is naturally resistant to, uh, to hyper damage. Like, seriously resistant. Please so align Reynold. Please align Reynold. Oh, he's also escalating entropy, so screw that shit. Yeah, no kidding. Um, I'm going to repeat this once more because it is important. Every time you have Navy antimatter charges loaded, this is what you should have by default, because this is what we want to shoot people on gates with. You will also have your scan resolution scripts in your sensor boosters loaded. Every time you're sitting still in a gate, awaiting a target, you want to have your sensor boosters activated, so you can, as quickly as possible, lock whatever's coming in and shoot them in the face with lead. Not, not like literally lead, but like antimatter charges. Um, and when we are engaging in long-range combat, we're swapping to spike ammunition. But when we're swapping to spike ammunition, spike ammunition, we are also swapping to targeting range scripts. Because please note that you can only target up to 45 kilometers with your comrade without having the target range scripts. But with them, you can target up to 106 kilometers. Now, if you cannot target the target that you're trying to shoot, you can't hit it. So you might be able to shoot up to 98 kilometers with spike loaded, but if you cannot target it, you can't actually effectively fire a bullet. So doing this in in harmony is important. Scout, go ahead. Scout, are you on? There's only two on local, nothing on D-scan. Moving on. Please advance. I realize this might be a little bit uh, of a tricky doctrine to do on a... Uh, on a drunken Friday night fleet, but my hopes for uni is rising. Drive active. Oh, oh, we have a lot of people warping. I just say with advanced, so that's probably right. Yeah. Good. It's just like uh, stress testing of a doctrine under uh, difficult psychological conditions. <laughs> you know what? I like that description quite a lot. I'll take it. Honestly, the most important thing for me tonight is that you guys have fun. This is a doctrine that I plan to take out uh, more than once, so don't you worry about it. Scout in VLI, there's 39 in local, scanning plexus now. There has been some interesting activity going on in here today. Galente Medium has a Vexor Thorax Comet Vexor Catalyst. Repeat that. Galente Medium has Vexor Thorax Comet Kestrel Vexor Catalyst. Vexor Thorax Comet Vexor Catalyst. Vexor Thorax. Kest sure. Okay. Um, warp at 100. Warping. Is there another medium open there? Negative. Is there another medium available for being opening there? Yes, there is. Okay. 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 This could be yeah. interesting. Yeah, they are inside. All right. What I want to happen here is how many comrades are we total? Is everyone in their actual right squad? I can see that they're not, because I have no one in support or alpha bro squad. Like, anyone who's not a longbow, please get into the support Free squad right now. Free move is not on. I mean, that's supposedly why this is not happening. We have 10. We have 10, 10 cormorants. Okay. okay, okay. Um. All right. Everyone in squad 1 right now? Jump VLI, and I want you to meet with us. Everyone else holding it. Open the other plex and the broadcast ejects. Sorry, um, I, I think there's only one. Sorry, correct. There's only one. Oh, okay. Well, that failed miserably. Uh, uh -huh. 
<laughs> the rest of the fleet, go ahead and jump. And, uh... Let's yolo this ship. Let's uh, everyone jump. Align to the medium. Align to the medium. There's only one medium. I'll broadcast it. Align to the medium. I'm gonna um. I'm gonna maybe sacrifice you, Jax. Fleet warps to the medium at ten. Warps to the medium at ten. Jax bouncing. Warp drive active. It's important that you have antimatter loaded. Antimatter loaded. You may preheat your guns. That is, shift click on your guns so that they are glowing green. Let's see, next one is. All right. Two bags. Why did we warp at 10? Because that allows us to slide the gate immediately. Um, everyone, uh, this beacon that I've just broadcast, right-click that and say align to. Right-click that and say align to, please. Right-click the beacon, say align to. On my go, everyone will slide the gate at the same time. Tackle will get tackled. Comrades, you will put on your MWD and burn away from the center. Three, two, one, activate. Preheat your MWD, preheat your MWD, and I want you to starburst. I want you to starburst. That means you want to burn away in several different directions. Several different directions. Break, break in three, two, one, when start Yuri burning now. Burn now. Primary is Yuri and Delore in the Vexor. Yuri in the Vexor. Yuri in the Vexor. He's broadcast. Him kill him, kill him, kill him. Burn away from them, burn away from them, burn away from them. Only one cycle. Turn your MWDs off, and now everybody get to watch Rasha Gala and anchor on Rasha Gala. Do not get from out uh, 25 range of this guy. Do not get like from out 25 range. Keep at 25 of this guy. Don't burn out your guns. Stop overheating your guns. Stop overheating your guns. Stop overheating your guns. Anchor on Rasha. Get to Rasha. Approach him. Approach him. Approach him. Keep tackle on Yuri, please. Secondary will be Merrick in the Thor. Secondary is Merrick. All damage on Merrick. Merrick them on Merrick. Merrick is the primary. Um, actually, hold DPS on Merrick, uh, set guns to red, do not go your guns. Secondary is Kjak in the Fed Navy Comet, blast him in 3, 2, 1, blast the Comet, blast the Comet, blast the Comet, blast the Comet, shoot the Comet, shoot the Comet, shoot the Comet, shoot the Comet with fire. Get back on the thorax in 3, 2, 1, back on the thorax, guys, back on the thorax. Anchor on Russia, anchor on Russia, Gala, guys, come on. I mean, secondary after this, secondary after this is the catalyst. Catalyst, catalyst, catalyst. Problem on one cycle. And will be on. And will be on. Tackle that Kestrel, guys. All tackle. Uh, not all tackle. Some, somebody tackle that Kestrel. Never mind. Point catalyst. Point. Somebody get the Vexor. Some cat, point the Vexor. Vexor. Thank you. All DPS on the catalyst. Approach the Vexor. Turn your problem not off. All damage, damage on the Vexor. Yeah. All damage on the Vexor. 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 Keep anchoring on Russia. Keep anchoring on Russia. Orbit him. Orbit this guy at five. Orbit this guy at twenty-five kilometers. And the uh, GG in the chat, guys. I realize we have to reload. That's fine. Just kill him when you have the ammunition. You can turn your sense boosters off right now. Well done, guys. Happy Friday. Cheers. Also get that pot if you can. Oh yeah, good fight. Did I say good game? That's bad manner of me. Shoot the pot, shoot the pot. Ah, damn it. Alright, loot the field, loot the field. Loot the field, get the drones. You need to be within range Hold the jazz. That was nice, guys. Function. Good job. How many did we lose? To be within range oh, to execute this function. Looks like two. Three. Just post your just post post your last meal, guys. Post your last meals. No. Nope. We'll go to civil. Just uh, reload your guns. Reload your guns. Don't repair with pace. Let's loot the field, and uh, I'll give it sixty seconds, and we're gonna go and to repair together. Uh, I lost ship. Where should I go? Hold on. One thing at a time. 
fair. Post lost mail, guys. Come on. Don't make this harder than it is. I want to see the shift that you lost, not the shift that you killed. We'll take that another time. One more time. Below this line, the shift that you lost. You need to be within range to execute this function. Griffin Mullen. Come. Yeah, they right. did right. They went after the Mullis and the Griffin yeah. first. So what they did, they did exactly what they were supposed to do. They went for the ships that were actually posing a threat to them. And the ships that were posing a threat to them was the ships that prevented them from shooting on the, uh, the core doctrine. So though you may have died, guys, you were the ones that actually saved this entire fleet. Just please understand that. Don't think of it as me sacrificing you. Think of it, think of it as you actually doing your jobs. This is extremely important. You, you just ensured that we killed... This was a really... I'm, I was not even sure Ooh, to take this engagement. This was spike. a really good engagement. Okay? Yeah, I'm close to you? Yeah, no, no, no. They're just coming into the system. I'm fleet anchor up on Russia right now. Anchor up on Russia right now. That is, approach Russia. Approach Russia Gala right now. That goes for everybody. If you lost your ship, Make your best speed to Ikoria. Ikoria is right next to Akitaki. Um, if you need the money to buy the ship that you uh, lost, um, just like Convo Rasher or whatever, I'll give you the money you need. Get to Ikoria, ship up again. All these things will be available for SRP. Sorry, how do you spell Ikoria? I C H. It's LinkedIn system. Thank you, Jax. Uh, it's LinkedIn, <laughs> not a system. If you chat, thank Short you. Short D is still clear. It's cool. We're just going to be sitting here nice and tight. Um, oh, those are the Mollison drones. Alright, let's see the kill notes, guys. Go. Very good guy. Very beautiful. Good job. That was honestly, honestly a very good job. Thank you for listening. Yeah, that was real good. I should have actually called uh, anchoring on me a little bit earlier, but uh, the reason I didn't was because some of you were like directly in like the other side of their feet because I asked you to starburst, and what you did was exactly the right thing. Um, I should just have maneuvered a little bit better. Um, okay, let's, um, is there a station in LD? I don't remember. Actually, we can just start. Algos, Algos, uh, Algos. Get the Algos, get the Algos. Tackle the Algos. Oh, wait, gun. Shoot him. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Shit, I shot you. What the shit? Friendly fire, Oopsie. dude. <laughs> I friendly fired your ass. Also, my uh, bad. No, no, no. This was my bad. I asked Tackle to be on top of me. That was a mistake. Um, sorry, Tackle. I made a mistake. You should never anger on Russia Gala, uh, especially when we're inside a plex. Tackle should always be within tackle range of the beacon. My mistake, guys. We lost another. Sorry. I'll take that on my shoulder. Uh, let's see. Let me see this station. Yeah, I'm going to broadcast the station. Everybody uh, warp to the station and duck up, repair, and immediately undock. Um, Jax, are you alive? Yep. Give me some intel on ALD, will you? I'll just dock up to repair. I'll do that. Fly anyway. What are my flanks? Flying like an assault freak or something? Uh, Jaguar, yes. Nice, nice. Yeah, I failed pretty good. You just alpha me, dude. <laughs> I did. I mean, it was only 770 hit points, so... But I cared about those hit points. Well, you'll get them back. I suppose. Yeah, reshipping. Fly to Korea. Uh, linked again. Set that thing as your destination. If you are in a pod, set that thing as your destination, make best speed there, and buy the ship that you lost, and um, get on the Akitaka gate in the same system. Does everybody understand that? Who is in a pod and needs to understand it? I 
I'll be honest with you guys. I did not expect that fight to go as well as it did. <laughs> that was kind of cool, actually. Yeah, it felt cool. All right, she don't talk when she prepared. Just don't do like me and actually undock without repairing it in the first place. That's just silly. That's cool, that's cool. Everybody did good, everybody did good. Get to the ALD guys, warp yourselves to the ALD game. Should be fine. Scout an ALD. Warp drive. It's been local. There's a flashy castle jumping through to you. Uh, I'm a little too late for that, I'm afraid. You want me to take a lead? If you're there, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I made a gate. Okay, put your always put your like uh, sense boosters on when you're about to tackle things, guys. Very um, system spike in ALD. What That's are they spiking with? Materials. <sighs> really? I'm jumping through. I'm crashing the gate. No, hold on. Who's who's? Pre no, no. You, you're not done giving me intel. Who's who's bringing it? Where are they bring it from? Where are they bring it to? They're coming from Ninimalia. Their alliance tag is Cas F, Castle F, Cal S F. Caldery. Get on the gate. Get us zero. A whole bunch. If you're not with us, if you're not with us, you should be here right now, or you will eventually die. Still reshipping. That's cool. If you're in Korea, that's good. Ooh, hold, hold. If you get yellow box, jump through. Please jump in. Three, two, one. Jump, jump, jump. I don't know what the range is on the Macarial actually. So why are we not killing them? Why Sorry, are we not Macarial. killing them? That's funny. Yeah, actually, I made a, made a mistake here. No, I actually, I definitely made a mistake. Um, good luck. Warp drive active. That is not the sort of thing I would want to hear from an FC. Did anyone get tackled? Hoot! Woohoo! Well, Did anyone out. get tackled? <laughs> uh, nope. Got an NEN 13 local. Do you want to save? No, no, we're going to regular to the Malady. We're not staying here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was a little interesting. Ooh. Yeah, I made a mistake. Uh, ho ho hopefully, well, uh, thankfully, they are bad, so uh, my mistakes were forgiven. Jump, jump, jump on contact. Yeah, they're coming. Yep. And we're not staying. I see the slash of course, that's fine. A line, a line, a line only. A line, line, line only. Akidagi. A line, Akidagi. A line, line, line. Yellow box these guys. Yellow box these guys. If you get yellow boxed, immediately warp yourselves. Please take this warp in three, two, take this warp. Active. It's important that you stay with the fleet here. Uh, the, one of the biggest weaknesses of this fleet is actually that the. Uh, and it's kind of difficult to tell, but it is that the Comrades align ex extremely slowly. They align like um, even slower than assault frigates. It's it's kind of it's kind of sad. But apart from that, they got a coming. Jump on contact or what? No, hold the Nagadagi gate. Uh, Nagadagi gate has flashes. I I take my uh, words back. We're going to uh, definitely jump on contact. Jump, 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 jump. And it's they also jump in. So. Hold on, check, check. Once you're through, immediately warp yourselves to the Ikoria gate. Immediately warp yourselves. Go, go, go. Ikoria gate. Ikoria gate. Ikoria gate. It's broadcast. It's broadcast. It's broadcast. I'll warp the fleet. Oh. Yeah, I'm making things a little bit exciting. Uh, I realize that. It's not supposed to be this exciting, uh, just like the traveling part of it. <laughs> and for that, I apologize. But hey. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I'm getting like a. Uh, my hairs are rising on my body. I don't know. All right. Um, That's good times. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it's a good Friday. Jump a Korea on contact. You are now in high sick. If you're flashy, good luck. <laughs> I'm not flashing. Uh -huh. I'm not. Okay, hold your cloak, hold your cloak, hold your cloak. Let's just think about this for a second. 
So I never got to shoot at the algal, as you say. Damn it. Uh, I'm not flashy. Bill, you didn't hold your cloak with the top station immediately. Uh, yeah, I'm not flashy, I'm not flashy. Oh yeah, good. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. the yeah. minions headed to a citadel. Yeah, let's just hit to the citadel. Hit. Wow. The English speaking with this one is strong tonight. Um, I'm going everybody to Everybody who uh, was reshipping, have you had the ability to find a suitable reship for your ship? Yes, in Stagmar. Oh, well, there's a Gnosis at the station. Yeah, the Gnosis is uh, usually in uh, but he is not actually artillery fit. He is rail fit. It's very, very strange. He likes to kill pods, basically. Just hold it this uh, little. You, why did you go to Stagman? Uh, I went there before you called out Ikoria, and then I was like a jump away by the time you said to go to Ikoria. What are you shipping into? Another Griffin, unless you want something else. Nope, that's fine. Um, make best hey, Rosa, here. Can you uh, broadcast warp to what Citadel we're going to? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's in the broadcast right now. Okay, it, got it. It's the one in front of uh, in front of the trade-off. Um, Baldrick, are you reshipped? Uh, not yet. The uh, cormorants aren't in the station link. They're in another one in system. Just going to go and get in that. But all the modules are in system. Yeah, they should be at five. Uh, equal to five. Yeah, the modules are in five, but the cormorants aren't in five. They're in uh, oh, six. Wow. That's annoying. <laughs> yeah, that's what I felt as well. Fair enough. And the last one was Archibald. I'm still reshipping. Uh, I gotta fetch the modules from a system over. And you were the most. That's fine. Um, you guys just uh, take your time, make your best speed to us once you can. We're gonna continue. Uh, it's not yet time for a break because we're in a roll, and uh, we're gonna continue that for a little bit. Fleet warp, warp, warp. Or take this warp and warp yourself to a uh, Ushimita. I'm gonna give you some uh, some destinations here. Actually, Jax, can you uh, can you uh, link some destinations for me? You wanna stay in Losek then? I wanna just just give it like IKO for now. We're going north in Black Rise. Once we're there, we're gonna like uh, jump a couple of jumps without having a destination. Good training for those of you who are not used to doing that. We could jump back to Akadagi or go through high sec and jump no. to Kanaka. We're going we're going north. So so uh, uh hold on. Destination link fleet, please make best speed into Samanuni on the Ikoshiku Gate. Once you are in Samanuni on the Ikoshiku Gate, um please hold. If you're a criminal Go ahead and jump directly into Ikoshkyo, but also if you're a criminal, let me know right now. Uh, minus, I don't remember what Samanoni is. Yeah, I think minus it's be less than three. Three or something like that, three or four. I think I can go into it, sevens. It depends on the system security. Uh, I think it's seven, so you need to be less than the minus three. If you're less than minus three, please let me know. I got this is so embarrassing. I got a a Nelsec campus member murdered by Kong, actually by uh by other people because he was perma flashy and we went into high sec uh without me knowing that he was perma flashy. He didn't, he never told me. And I just like I mean obviously he being an SC member, he just assumed that everybody's gonna care about his sex status because he's like a super private. But um I totally didn't. I just expected him to be like at least plus uh, plus minus five. So, or uh, aware that he shouldn't jump into high sec unless he's uh, knows what Ex he's doing. Exactly right. <laughs> exactly. But uh, that didn't happen. So he miserably died. That taught me a thing or two, anyway. Yeah, the facts is they're a uh, uh, capital repping ship. Force Escalate. auxiliary machine. Yeah. All right. Uh, you're not supposed to jump into Koskio. If you did, that's fine. If you did, you should also be Jax.
uh, whoever's back into uh, the coach here that was not Jax, please uh, L up. Okay. You're not scout. She is now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've got a timer too, so. That's fine. Uh, if some other ship lands on this gate, I'm going through because, well, I guess if he locks me up, I'll go through. That's fine, you guys. I mean, I, I, I trust you all to know what you're doing here, okay? Yeah. Uh, Baldrick's client's crashed. Okay. Oh, no. Uh, Adrian, can you, like, invite him in once he gets back? Yeah, I'll drag him in. Where are you, Jax? Jax in IKO. Um, it's only for in system. Everyone who is not currently in Summon Nuni on the uh, IKO gate, please let me know why and where you are. Archibald still reshipping. That's fine. The gate. Rad is, uh, the lost. three people uh, reshipping is fine. Second, uh, Gal? Oh, uh, Rarad. He, oh, he's in a quarry. Uh, he's on his way. Cool, 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 cool. I'm going to think... relink. This is where we're supposed to be in a minute. Okay, I've got to go to the Astor House for a second. I'll catch up. Go ahead, Jack. Um, Scout Nikeo moving to Asakai? Or do you have a destination? No, go to prison. Roger. Fleet uh, advance to prison. Do so you do not have a destination? Or? No, you do not currently have a yellow brick road, but just please listen to the instructor command. So, advance to prison. Your outgate after prison will be ELU, Jax. Roger. Baldrick, you back in. Cool. Yeah, Roger's out. I'm still not fleeted, though. What yeah, system you in? It's Corey, I'm still trying to reship. Good man. I told you, ten, ten longbows. That's where it starts to become dangerous. Do not spike prison if you're not jacks, guys. Jackson's prism. There's three in local. Scanning plexus now. Bear in mind that you can always ignore the novices. Unless, like, you accidentally see that there's a battleship shitting outside, in which case we will definitely kill that. Unfortunately, no battleship in system. System is... System D scan is empty. Alright, fleet advanced ELU. I have 17 people in fleet. I have one scout, but there's only uh, like nine or ten of us actually on grid. I would like us to be more than that. Yeah, Dominion's on his way. That's cool. Just saying. I'm not going to be super like Nazi or, I mean, no offense to anyone actually is a nationalistic socialist, but um, <laughs> like, let's just. Let's just try to actually be together. I mean, this is going to be a super lax fleet, and we're all going to have a good time. But we're mostly going to have a good time if we actually blab shit to smithereens, right? And that only actually happens if we're together here. So uh, please be with your FC, because I like to be warm and like, snuggly with people around me. I freeze in space when people don't hold me. <laughs> it sucks to be lonely. I can kind of give you uh, Inferno... Uh, hugs again. <laughs> I don't want the Inferno hugs, they're too warm for me. <laughs> oh, hello, Noda. How you been? Ah, I'm just kidding, I'm just messing with y'all. Hello, Noda Witch. He's losing his mind. Hello, 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 hello. How are you, sir? Rare. I'm doing fine. So, um, I have a job for you. Sure, sure, what do you need? I need a longbow, but I also need you to fit it to be insta aligny because you have a long way to get here. Yeah. And I don't want you to die in the way. 
That's your job. Get to us without dying. Good luck. Scout at ELU, there's one in local, nothing on D-scan. Alright, uh, you can go ahead and uh, uh, advance to Asakai and Fleet, you can go ahead and swap gate to the Asakai gate. Did you Ooh. say Asakai? God damn it. Uh, oh yeah, we're in Asakai. Uh, yeah. Also, if you have any friends that can fly longbows, now's the time to bring them. This is currently the best longbow fleet roaming around in uh, Uni space or in Eve space. I can almost guarantee you that. I don't usually tell a lie, but when I do, I make it obscure enough to know that I'm not even sure myself. Not even know my sure my so something about being sure. Hold on, Azaka guys. It's got it. How much did you drink already? Not enough. Because I'm still actually considering what I'm saying. Scout in Asakai, there's only one in local. Uh, That's boring. Fleet advance to Akamon. It's not Akamon. Yes, it is Akamon. Actually, we could go VAA. Actually, hold on. Go VAA instead, uh, Jax. Fleet go to VAA instead of Akamon. Might as well take out the little pockets. That is VAA list. Varlin. Varlin. Where is Dark Land? Why is he not in fleet? Who? Oh. Lancelot. That slacking guy. Oh, here we, I think... That's a Mastodon, but it's also not flashy, and it's also like a transport ship. I don't really want to whelp my comrades. Because the thing you guys don't really notice when you're in this fleet is that you don't really have a lot of tank. So you can't really oh, take Oh, I guy. noticed that. I noticed I had no tank. Oh, well, you noticed that, but like... I died straight away. He, like, turned around and warped away. I saw, I saw, and I was, like, baffled. I was like, did he just do... But still, we're going to lose a lot of us to gate guns if we do that. Yeah, top, top tip to new bros, don't start at A. Go somewhere down the alphabet, because it is they sort by your alphabet. The yeah, board was up there front. Scattered VAA, there's only two in local. Yeah, the event. Uh, go to Mujike. Oh, actually, you don't even have to advance, but now that I already said it, a lot of you are probably going to do it. You can swap to the Mujike gate, guys, if you didn't already jump into VAA. Can okay, I see uh, Baldrick? Go. Um, I've reshipped now. Uh, where can I meet you that's quickest? From uh, Ichikori. Oh, come on. Okay, okay. Roger that. Go north. Go through high sec. So your outgate should be Uchumbita. If that is right, you're doing it right. On the Mushikeki gate. And uh, Jax, give me intel in Mushikeki, please. Drive active. Everyone in, a, if everyone in uh, VAA should be on the Mushikeki gate. Everyone in Asakai should also be on the Mushikeki gate. Oh, well. You see? Things make sense. It's a strange fleet already. Oh my god, this capsule, you just, I mean, you just want to blab it, but... Scout in Mishikagi, there's three in local, nothing in D-scan. The probe. The what? It's a, there's, a, there's a probe in D-scan, but that's it. Alright, uh... Oh, Crucifix Navy issue, Crucifix Navy issue. See where it yeah, is. I'll do that, yeah. How are you doing, Narwich? Pretty good. Feeling good, good, good. Itch again, I gotta get back. Good, uh, good. Scout in Michikegi, the crucifier is in a small. Go get him. Warping. He'll track you up to death, that's fine. Yeah, 14 AU for us, but we're two different gates, so that's fine. Warp into the small installation area. So just be like super innocent and like be like I'm all alone. La, 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 la. You're allowed to whistle when you're doing this, by the way. 
Why am I here? I don't know where I am. He's outside the gate. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna yell box him. He's like... Just like tackle him and like tackle him hard. Get ready to uh, get ready to go to uh, Jax, guys. No. Jax is a strong man, he can do things himself. Mm, okay. I understand the doubt. Point. Everyone jump your gate and warp to Jax Renelard. Renelard. That's a difficult name to say. Jax, you're not allowed to use lose point at any point. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Fleet, uh, activate your sensor boosters. Preheat your antimatter thingies. A uh, sentinel jumping as well. That's perfect. Somebody get secondary tackle on the sentinel, please. Keep your tackle on the other thing. We're gonna blap the sentinel first. I'm coming. Oh, he's inside. They're inside. Uh, okay. Coming. Three thousand or three hundred thousand kilometers. Slide the gate in contact, guys. I didn't realize I was like. Sorry. Drive active. New to doubt. Kill the bat and Sentinel guys first. Sentinel first. There's only something I'm great. Get tackled. Ah, no, sorry. brother. They cut me out. That's okay. Damn. That's okay. That's fine. Also, I am sad. That was a good job, though. Uh, Jax. Should take this warp. Warp drive active. That was sad. Okay, so close, Archibald man. reshipped. Where are you at? You can go towards uh, OKK and you'll be fine. As linked in system. I'm only needing one more person for the reshipping group, I'm not. That's okay. you, Jew. Jew. I'm three jumps. Cool. Where are you, uh, Jew? Aldrich and Christine are right behind me. Awesome. Awesome. So I have my fleet together. That's good. Um, thank you, Jax. Everyone else, uh, go ahead and enjoy looking at this uh, piece of metal. Shoot. Oh, I don't want to say shoot the confessor, but damn it, we're going to lose too many people if we do it. Scout. Okay, K. Okay. There's 10 in local. Get the comet though, get the comet. Oh, it's oh. lovely. Oh, this function. I wish. Uh, he went to Asa Asakai. Okay. Yeah, I know, I know. Repurpose your command gate, guys. Repurpose your command gate. This is why I always bring an instant locker. Except for today, apparently. Nothing in the plexus in OKK. Okay, okay. Let's find this more interesting places. Fleet, jump, 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 and advance to right Sato. Also, cheers! 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 Warp drive active. There's like plenty of badass stuff going down in Black Rice today. We have an easy time finding content here. I love those freaking. Oh my god, that those even work in warp? Yes. How insanely what? stupid is that? That's why fleet warps are so awesome with these guys. Oh, yeah. But I got 45 seconds till I can jump the gate, so... Yeah, I understand. I'm never gonna not fleet warp now. Oh my god. Hello again, fleet. Hello, Jude. Good to have Hello. you back, man. Hey, it's good to see you guys. Hello, nice Audrey. We haven't been killing anything without you, we promise. Didn't really try though, because we were waiting for you guys. No, we really did try, and Black Warehouse was boring. Did, did did you have did you do shots without us though? No, we should totally do shots. Hey, <sighs> scout the uh, Intel right side. Of. Right side of has seven in, in local, nothing in the plexus. Make a better effort. Jelly shots. I can't make them come to me. I wish. You just have to like wiggle your tail and like uh, flap your wings and all the jazz. Pull my pants up, yeah. That, don't like... do that, don't do that. Fleet advance to Kadama. Fleet advance to Kadama.
Oh man, we could have gotten that prospect. <laughs> so I I'm so just gonna don't say like that, gate guns. I'm just gonna say this once, so I don't have to keep on saying it. We're not gonna attack anything that's not flashy on any gates ever at all. I ever in this Ooh, particular doctrine. This a flashy frigate, Imperial Navy on the out. There is a worm, Griffin Navy. Oh shit! I jumped through. Um. Three frigates on the outgate. One of them is flashy. Yeah, I see them. Ignore them. They jump back. Jump, jump, jump. Kadam on contact. Tackle the worm. Tackle the worm, Jax. Tackle the fucking worm. Immediately break cloak. Immediately break cloak. Send the boosters on. Blat the worm. Ah, I'm also... He missed the target. Of... Flash. That's fine. Orbit the gate at 500. Attack. Attack the flashy. They're warping off. Yeah, they're warping. They know better. That's fine. Hold till the gate of 500. Hmm. Worm. Control. I'm trying to remember what the hell they were in. Astero. Please lock up the Astero. Ah, oh, goddammit. Ah. Sometimes I'm just too slow. I'm sorry, guys. Your FC is slow today. Let's go to. We already wasted our time in Kadama, didn't we? You're a lot of it. Yeah, we probably did. Let's see. Three, two, one. Fleet, take this warp. Warp drive active. Yeah, my bad, sir. Sorry, guys. Archibald back in Mollus. I am with Fleet. Awesome. Welcome back, Archibald. How long have you been in this game, Archibald? Two weeks. Nice, man. How are you finding it so far? Uh, it's a lot of fun. But. Uh, no buts. It's just fun. I kind of wish I could game. get more of my friends to join in. Yeah, that's a big but. A lot well, of spreadsheets involved. <sighs> this is fine. I, I like to de-emphasize the spreadsheet aspect. That is a sentence that I will remember. I like to de-emphasize the spreadsheet aspect. Wow. Scout and here you scan caracals. I'm looking for them now. You're too funny, Rosa. I heard. Good to know. Sounds like very relevant news. Scout in Hiri, there's five and six in local, um, nothing on the plexus, there's three caracals on the PYNE PY gate. There's Don't know if three they're caracals on the PYN gate? Yep. I want to know if they're flashing. Uh, warp at distance. Please say the they oh, oh, oh. Another fleet coming. Shh, shh, shh. Oh. Quiet. Oh. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Uh, they're not flashing, that's the problem. No, okay, so too bad about those caracals. We're gonna go into a small. Uh, there's a small. Yes, I'm gonna. Small. Uh, I have now linked the small. We'll be warping to the small. If you did not get this warp, warp yourself to the small immediately. Antimatter loaded, my friends. This is important and muy importante. Tackles just... do not anchor. Everyone will slide the skate in contact. I felt like a bunch Tack of dildos just hit me. What was that? Okay, hold on. Uh, we're now in combat comms. Unless you have something seriously important to say, please shut the fuck up. Drive, Slide to get in contact. Orbit. Uh, actually, anchor on Russia once you're inside. I'll be orbiting at 25 kilometers. Except tackle. Except tackle. Except anyone that's not a comrade. All the comrades will be anchoring, and uh, Demian will also be anchoring. This is quite important. Once you jump us, Dominion, I want you to jump us in the opposite direction of which they're tackling us. So if they're going towards us, I want you to jump us in the direct uh, opposite direction of which they are going. Understand? Okay. If they're, what, say, if we're tackling if they're them? Going or... to, if they're going towards us and I ask you to jump us, I want you to jump us in the direction from which they're coming. Okay. Peace spike. So straight at them. Correct. Cool, cool. Yeah, they de spiked. It's fine, we're just gonna see it for a second. 
let this be our base of operation. This is the most active system in uh, Lagrange for the past hour. I see just a bit of info from that of which there's a T2 uh, frigate gang or frigate fleet Where? on in VLI. How big is it? What are they flying? Are they flying harpies? Uh, they were flying retributions uh, with deacons, and my guess is it's third and glitter, which there was 14 in the system. Only 14? 14. 14 in core. VLI, you say? Oh, Correct. That's a, little, that's a little far away. But that is a very tasty engagement. Hmm, what to do? What, could, what, do you remember the core again? It was uh, Dirt and Glitter. Dirt and Glitter. Never heard of them. Oh no, they've been around for a while. I think they're part of Test. Rad, you need to anchor up on uh, Raza so that uh, you're within six kilometers of me. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and hunt that fleet. In order to keep an eye on that fleet, pay attention. We're going to warp some fast attacks here. Everybody take this warp to find a cast down. Set your destination to VLI. Jax plus one us all the time. You warp independently. Should be a little bit faster than we are. Yep. In order to try to keep an eye on the fleet. We'll do. Not which is about two jumps away, though. Do not, under any circumstance, die to them. You are forbidden from doing so. Copy that, none of which will die. Copy. <laughs> you, d you, did not, you did not copy anything. Jump on contact, advance to your next gate. That is fleet, jump on contact, advance to your next outgate. That is on pain of a dildo being slapped around your head. And once again, there we go. <laughs> I will not continue to fleet warp you guys. I will not continue to fleet warp you. Just warp yourselves. Oh wow, I forgot how fast I was in this clone. What are we warping to? You're out gate. What system oh, is that? This destination is linked in your fleet chat. If you add that your destination, you should probably uh, get the right correct of uh, yellow gates. HIK. But yeah, HIK. This is, simple. this is simple fleet, fleet maneuvers, guys, come on. Watch your outgauge, which is NEN. In HIK, warp any end. I need you all to make this speed. I need you all to be there once we actually get this fight. So there are a couple of Active. things about this um, this engagement that we're going to be going for. The targets we're facing will all be naturally very resistant to our. Uh, damage type jump in and contact but we will be able to control range like effectively 100% so we should be fine this is one of the times where a jump from you uh, gal will be extremely useful yep yep out of which has eyes in VLI now we just had a fleet from uh, FEDEF jump in with it looks like five Fed Navy comments that's good. There's about five Atrons that were at a novice that may have had some Griffin support. Make best speed into ALD on the VLI gate, guys. That is your standing orders. Get into ALD on the VLI gate. Await further information. Uh, not a witch warp to Sun. I now have seven retributions on uh, T scan with four deacons, two crewers, a catalyst, and a capsule. Two crewers? Two crewers. Oh. I like our odds, guys. Keep an eye on them. Keep keeping an eye on them. See what is happening. Repeat the uh, seven retributions, two crews, and what? Yep, so uh, just a little bit of information. In VLI at the Galente Medium Outpost, we have seven retributions, four deacons, and two crores. Four deacons? Correct. Four deacons. Holy shit. That's a lot of deacons. That's a lot of fucking deacons. 
We're gonna have to uh, wrap, uh... do not spike into VLI. Do not, I repeat, do not spike into VLI. Stop ship, stop. There you go. Approach to VLI gate only. So we're gonna have to be smart about this. So in a fleet engagement such as this, if their S FC is dumb, he will try to catch us, which he should, but we will be far away. And we will be able to alpha things. Deacons have a reach of what, Gal? Um, thirty kilometers. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Optimal twenty-three. Okay. Yeah, optimal twenty-three. They can reach and up to like max 50. fifty. Throughout this engagement, Gal, I want you to keep an eye on the distance between the lodging and their fleet for me, okay? Okay. Let well. me know if anything is out of order. Um, I want the engagement to start with us getting jumped. Uh, 100 kilometers away from the fleet, except for the tackle, which will be star bursting away, then reapproaching the deacons, tackling the deacons. Is that understood? Okay. Do you have a uh, warp in force, Jax? Is anyone not in ALD on the VLI gate? Please let me know right now. I need to know what we're missing. This is very important. It's in the medium, correct? Twenty medium outpost in VLI. I don't know. You told me, dude. That wasn't Jax that gave you that. Oh, it was Noda. Sorry. They're moving. They're moving. All right. Where are they moving to? I don't know yet. All right. For now, we're gonna stand by. Twenty large, it seems. Confirm. Yeah. Fleet, jump, 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 VLI. Yep. Jump, 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 VLI. Broadcast large, please. Lines are large, lines are large, lines are large. We're gonna warp at. Uh, everyone who's tackle, warp yourselves at zero right now. Warp yourselves at zero right now if you are tackled. They're bouncing. Everyone They're bouncing. who's not tackled, that's fine. Everyone who's not tackled, warp yourselves. Take this warp. Swap to spike and swap to targeting range scripts, please. Swap to spike and swap to targeting range scripts. Oh, Activate I didn't get a warp. Range. Oh, I might have fucked that up. Warp to the large at 70. That's fine at the left. At what? Warp drive active. Oh, I did it. Okay. Good job. I mean, even if they're not here, what we're doing is still really good practice about what we're supposed to do. Somebody see if. Oh, they're spiking. Goddamn chicken fire. Everyone, help me descan down the system, see what we're finding. Because there's always something going on in here. I just want to know what it is and where it is. And if you can get an eye on where they de spike to, I really want to know that. Were they flashy? Uh, I don't recall. I do remember seeing a lot of uh, yellow and red skulls, so I assume so, yes. So uh, could which is warping to o OICX. They could have gone REN. Um. All right, everyone who is not Cormorans, uh, Starburst, different gates, one, one in Renrel, one in ALD, one in YCX, and one in ALS. Jack's ALD. Uh, Bill Renrel. Professor OICX. Thank you. Once you see the fleet, let me know where it is. And you want everybody to see else. Yes, please, jump in contact, see where the fleet is. By all means, if you are with the fleet on a gate, uh, hold your cloak, don't be an idiot and die. Dying is not good for the fleet. And cheers! Happy Friday! Woo! Whoa! Woo. Cheers! Cheers! Kalanja. What is everybody drinking? Is it always rum, Asher, Gal? Yingling. Cider. Uh, Beer. mostly. I'm drinking beer. A Galantrix, get on that. Whiskey, yeah. but check, check, check. Oh, I see X. I have 20 uh, in system. Is it the ones uh, we're looking for? A bunch of flashes. I don't know. I, have a, I don't know their names. Right click and tell me where the core they're from. They're in glitter. Good. Everybody, get back into VLI. Warp to OICX. If you have a direct connection to OICX, warp yourself to OICX. Fleet, warp yourself to OICX. Didn't fleet warp you, sorry. Uh, Griffin in medium OICX. Uh, sorry, That's fine. In medium VLI. That's fine. Ignore that. We're gonna we're handling a fleet right now. Swap back to antimatter and swap back to your resolution scripts. 
Right now, please. Back to antimatter and back to resolution script. Uh, they're not. Uh, they're not in the plexus. I'm not sure where they are. That's fine. Figure out where they are and then let me know. I'm not interested in whether or not. They seem to be in a safe. Uh, I've scanned everywhere. Oh, I see X. This is placid. Hold on. Let me check the EHA gate, the only thing out of range. That is exactly the only thing, yeah. Fleet, um. That's a gate flash. That's a uh, scout going through. Okay. I'm Jack's, going. Jack's got a regular to EA, EHA. Fleet, jump, jump, jump. Oh, I see X. No, okay, listen carefully. A got one... flashes. You got flashes crashing your gate. A lot of um, retribution. It's the fleet. They are That's crashing fine. your gate. That's fine. That's fine. Everybody immediately reapproach your line. Prop mod on. Prop mod on. Do not, under any circumstance, engage any of these targets without my consent. They just worked. All right. To the Citadel. Now to the small. Yep, let's give them, let's take the invitation. Align to the small, align to the small. Just like before, tackle will warp at 10, and everyone who is DPS will warp at 70. Load your spike and range scripts. Warp your spike and range scripts. Tackle, warp now. Tackle, warp now. Tackle, warp now. Everyone has to take this warp. Warping. We're still coming back. Active. That's fine. We have to make a shuffle. Either they want to take the fire or they don't. These, they, these guys decide whether or not to take the engagement. We don't decide. We just give them the opportunity. Unfortunately, they are faster than we are. They're not here. They may be. That's okay. They might be inside. They are inside. They're within one AU. Oh, uh, they might be at the sun. Hold on. No, that's fine. Do we slide? No, they're inside. Hold on. Hold on. They're inside. Yeah, they're inside. This is something we're going to take. Reload antimatter, reload antimatter, and resolution scripts. I realize this is a bother for everybody. Prop mod on, approach the gate, prop mod on, approach the gate, prop mod on, approach the gate. We are going to take this fight. I don't care. Primaries will be deacons. All the deacons will be primaries. I want you to tackle deacons. So there's a good thing and a bad thing about being inside a plex. One of the good things that people tend to forget is that it takes a very long time for people to get back on grid, even if they bounce. Pay attention. Be ready to shoot what I tell you to shoot. Or we do guns from the start. Or we do MWD from the start. Align to this beacon. Align to this beacon. Align to this beacon right now. I'm going to keep an eye on field to know when you're ready. Preheat your guns right now. Turn your MWD off. Preheat your MWD. Turn your resolution scripts on right now. And on my mark, be ready to activate the gate in 3, 2, 1, activate. As before, we're going to starburst. We're going to starburst mostly to the left. We're going to starburst mostly to the left. So to the left. Once we're approaching in the direction we're going, starboard towards the left, guys. For one cycle, starboard to the left. Primer will be... Oh. Primer will be... Mikkel in the Deacon. Mikkel in the Deacon. He is broadcast. Okay, you just lost your uh, stork. Kill Mikkel in Deacon. Kill Mikkel in the Deacon, guys. Secondary will be... Epa in the Deacon. Prop mod on, prop mod on, prop mod on. Burn away from them, burn away from them. We need rain. Mikkel in the Mikkel in the Deacon. Kill Mikkel in the Deacon. All the best in Mikkel, guys. All the best in Mikkel. Oh shit, Rush is going. Second FC take over. Uh, get the uh, Thav and the Retribution. Thav and the. You need to be within range to execute this function. Losing point on Deacon. Fleet Come. scatter, scatter, scatter. Fleet scatter, scatter, scatter. Get out of there if you can. I'm not hearing any shots called, so fleet scatter. Mm. 
the wrong point. This might be a drunken fleet, but I will not have you respond to any of the uh, things in local, please. Give them a good fight, that's fine. Give them a good fight. I was just preparing my gifs, man. Did you not hear me call a target? No. I don't even know what's going on anymore. Did anyone hear me call target? I, no, yeah, I we heard, heard call Yeah, we heard. Yep. A retribution? Yeah. 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 That's fine. Okay, uh, anyone got a safe? Please double you up. Jackson's gift, safe. Please double you up. Uh, walk to Jax, walk to Jax, walk to Jax. Let's reconvene for a bit. No matter if you're in a pod or in a whatever, get on Jax, please. This was not necessarily um, unexpected. I don't know. But I'm pretty happy we took an engagement. We did warp on top of the fleet, right? Yeah, yeah. That's oh, exactly yeah. What we did exactly what they wanted us to do. Which is fine, but they wouldn't have taken the engagement otherwise. Um, I had hoped that we could start this, but they were they were actually very good at spreading tackle. That's the thing that actually saved them there. Um, yeah, they were very good at spreading tackle. And then they got rid of me right away. They they yeah. knew what they were doing because because every it, single one of them had me red boxed. Yeah, if the, if the stork had survived, we would have all been able to get away and get in yeah. our prime range. But if I'm looking at the numbers right now, we actually have like four or five comrades surviving this. Or like six, actually. It's pretty good, guys. So, um, yeah. Sorry about that. That was, uh, that was expected. This is the kind of thing that happens with this type of fleet. It's either it, it, I say, I'm pretty sure I said this in the very start of the fleet. That either we die horribly in a fire, or we murder everybody. Yep. I'm pretty sure I said that, actually. And this, is a, very, this is a very good case of... of of them being competent enough to know what they're doing and us not getting the chance to set up what we want to do correctly. Because we can all agree that we hunted this fleet because they were fleeing from us because they knew that we were a dangerous target. This also means, and this is all psychological warfare, and that is half of what EVE is, if not like 80%. Like, they knew that if we were like sitting inside the small, we would be sitting at our optimal, we would be sitting at 70, and they would have no absolute chance of doing anything to us whatsoever. So the only like the only way that we were going to be able to get an engagement was if we did what we accepted what we did now, and that is fighting on their terms, which is fine because we still would have have a really good chance of doing what they did. But they actually knew what they were doing. They were spreading tackle very very efficiently, um, and props to them. You should recommend your enemies That's when it. they do good, and that is exactly what they did. They did exactly what they were supposed to do. We did also exactly what we were supposed to do. But they won, and that's fine. It's a good lesson learned. And I also still want to say that everybody, you did an amazing job for following orders, because this is a doctrine that when you do not follow orders, it fails in such a miserable way that we do not actually escape with any ships. All right. That's so let's, let's get out of here. That whole yeah. fleet is docked up in uh, six uh, moon whatever. Copy that. Um, where the hell are we? Let's make best speed back to Stackman, guys. Oh, come on. Heck, it's Trunk and Fleet. I just need to repair my burnt out mods and all that make, stuff. Make. That's fine. We're eight gems out of stack. If people want to continue, we can definitely do that. Um, but we're still making best speed to Stackman because we are not combat efficient right now. We are too many ships down. FC Natowich found a uh, salt mine in the Coria. What do? Uh huh. Uh, what a salt mine in Korea? <laughs> um, I say mine, mine, my friend. Absolutely understandable. This is also uh, this is also one of the reasons why I'm going back. So we can let people who wants to go go. If he wants to go on, go on. I think that if we're going to go out again, um, um, yeah, given the size of the fleet, I think we might be changing into a little bit smaller ships. I think we're going to be, uh, I think we're going to go into a, a, a small frigate roam. 
if anyone wants to, anyway. We could go bigger? Cruisers? We could go bigger, but we're not going to do that. I'm down for a frigate realm. I can fly frigates way better than I can fly destroyers. I just want to mention, and this is quite important, guys. And while we're keeping making best speed, you can all listen to my enormously beautiful voice filling your lovely ears. But this particular doctrine is actually not as easy to fly as it seems. I mean, it might seem to you that anchoring on an FC and just like shooting the primary is the easiest thing in the world. This is not what the doctrine is actually supposed to do. What the doctrine is supposed to do in the future when you become good at doing it is you're all supposed to be flying individually and you will be flying as the MC, but like away from the entire group. So you will be starbursting in like a circle away from the enemies, but always shooting like the optimals. Um, so that they will have to make an active decision about which ships they go to. It basically, imagine this. You are like uh, a point in space. Say you are a beacon. You are the beacon, and the beacon is the enemy ship that we are trying to engage. What we do in the Longbow Fleet is we like spread out around the beacon, like make a box around the beacon and, and like force it, like we kill it by fire. Um, we have such a large engagement range that we can effectively like make a 30 by 30 kill box without even being able to be hit by any uh, by any persons. And this is a fluid kill box that can move as it as it needs to be moving. It's extremely advanced tactics, but like optimally in the future, once people become good at doing this, that is what you want to do. Because that means that in the case that happened now, where I asked everybody to burn mostly to the left, I will ask people to starburst like I did in the first place, and they will actually have to decide in which direction to go. And when they decide to go left, all the people on the right will have an advantage. Once they start, decide to go left, uh, right, they, I want people on the left will have an advantage, and so on and so forth. It is about controlling um, the enemy ships to such an extent that you can get the most damage over the most amount of time without taking any damage, because these ships are not meant to take damage. So the whole theory behind the longbows is quite interesting. But also know that, that the fleet we did today, that is one step towards becoming a much more advanced pilot in this particular regard. And I want to thank you all for paying very good fleet oh that's an office oh damn it for having very good fleet discipline uh on a drunken non pg fleet i mean this is probably i'll be i'll be honest this is probably the most pg fleet i actually had in <laughs> uni since i mean and it's so it's so ridiculous because I, I was like i just want to have an evening where i don't have to worry about your rules like regarding what the hell i'm saying but, Wait, Roger, real quick, is this actually a rated R fleet? This is an Aria fleet, yeah. This is a drunken Aria fleet, dude. Alright, go You fuck can yourself. say whatever the fuck, fuck you want. Yourself. Exactly, fuck yourself. Right? But I just want to say, I, I, enjoyed, I enjoyed flying with you guys so much because uh, you guys did exactly what you were supposed to do. And uh, we had a really, really great engagement at the start. We killed like two vexes of thorax, like fit Navy Comet. Like, things I would not normally have warped in on. Like, honestly, I, I would never have warped in on that. But, and, and I'll also say this. Probably that first engagement was what gave me the courage to warp in on the second engagement. But it's, these are things that we have to do. And I will say that we're all... I know that you're not all in uni, Gal and Ash, but I know that you understand when I'm saying this. That we are all in uni to learn. And I may be a good FC, you guys may all be excellent pilots, but there's always a next level, there's always something new to learn. For me, today, it was learning, well, everything I just talked about, really. Um, it's, about, it's about learning the limits and the capabilities of a fleet, but you have shown me that even if it is a uni fleet, you have the capabilities of doing pretty interesting stuff. And I'm going to keep that in mind when I'm making my doctrines in the future. So I just want to say thank you for paying such good uh, fleet, uh, fleet this plan. On a Friday, drunken fucking roll, oh, motherfuckers. Uh, oh, you, 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 you. You're so squishy. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. Uh, I think that was that an unstop for nine jumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think dude. we had like eight jumps total from when we started. I'm like, I'm like home now. But... Four but, score uh, and 20 jumps ago. I'll be honest. It was like listening to my dad talking. I'll be honest with you guys. I very recently had very much incentive to leave uni. I'm not gonna leave uni because no! I fucking I fucking love you guys. Was I'm gonna stay here. To stay. I still have work to do here. Trying to take you. This is bullshit. No, drunk. The only difference is having <laughs> Sav. What the hell's that? I have a lot of love for Asher and Glintros. I really do. And they will always be... I'm not going to get all squishy with you motherfuckers, but... Yeah, it just dropped out point, to another point, channel for that. Point is, point is, point is. I still have things to do here. And I'm, even if this was a drunk Rome or Raider Rome, whatever, you guys actually did prove something to me. That Uni is capable of forming something that does make sense. And for a long time, I've been like, is Uni even capable of, of doing any sort of doctrine? And I've been trying very hard to do, to actually form form things that will make sense for people. I mean, honestly, this doctrine makes sense. It's a difficult doctrine. It's, it's difficult to pull off. We did pull it off tonight. Even if we lost the last engagement, we lost like five comrades, maybe, and a Storic. That's, that's, that's the biggest loss we, we, we did lose. But... It was a successful Rome. It really was. Oh, yeah. It was a good Rome. Raj, why don't you put a, an alt in the Hidden Flame? Well, uh, okay, so... You certainly have monologue enough for two corps. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <Different>. Wow. <laughs> I, I have a what long enough? A monologue. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I love you, Raj. I promise. I love, no, honestly, I love you guys. Asher, sleep well. Sleep so well. I'll see you in the morning. Hi.